our objective is to determine the ratio of intensities of specific transitions in the hydrogen atom and calculate the mean lifetime of the tube state. Step 1. Understand the concept of transition intensities in hydrogen atom. The intensity of a transition in a hydrogen atom, such as from a higher energy level n to a lower energy level n, is proportional to the square of the matrix element of the dipole moment between these two states. However, for the purpose of this question, we can simplify our approach by understanding that the intensity of transitions is also related to the transition probability, which in turn is proportional to the oscillator strength of the transition. Step 2. Recall the formula for the oscillator strength. The oscillator strength f for a transition is related to the transition probability and can be calculated using quantum mechanics. However, for hydrogen minus like atoms, the oscillator strengths for transitions can often be found in tables or calculated using simplified formulas. For the purpose of this question, we will assume the oscillator strengths or the relative intensities are given or can be found from a reliable source. Step 3. Understand the concept of mean lifetime of an excited state. The mean lifetime tau of an excited state is the average time an atom spends in that excited state before decaying to a lower energy state. It is inversely proportional to the total decay rate gamma of that state, which is the sum of the decay rates for all possible transitions from a state to lower energy states. Mathematically, tau equal to 1 slash gamma. Step 4. Calculate or find the ratio of intensities of 2 minus 1s and 3 minus 1s transitions. Assuming we have the oscillator strengths f for the 2 minus 1s f2 pins and 3 minus 1s f3 pins transitions, the ratio of intensities that can be directly related to these oscillator strengths, since intensity is proportional to the oscillator strength. Thus, the ratio of intensities can be written as ratio of intensities equal to 2 minus 1s divided by 3 minus 1s equal to f2 pins divided by f3 pins. Without specific values, we proceed with the understanding that this ratio can be calculated if the oscillator strengths are known. Step 5. Determine the mean lifetime of the tube state. To find the mean lifetime of the tube state, we need to know the total decay rate gamma of the tube state. This involves summing the decay rates for all transitions from the tube state to lower energy levels, primarily the 1s level for hydrogen. If the decay rate for the tube minus 1s transition is given or can be calculated, we use the formula. Tau tube equal to 1 divided by gamma tube, where gamma tube is the decay rate of the tube state, which is related to the transition probability from tube to 1s. Step 6. Apply known values or methods to calculate the mean lifetime. Without specific values for the decay rates or transition probabilities, we can refer to quantum mechanics textbooks or databases for the decay rate of the tube state of the hydrogen atom. The mean lifetime can then be calculated using the formula provided in step 5. In summary, to answer the question, one needs specific data on the oscillator strengths or decay rates for the transitions mentioned. These values are typically obtained from experimental data or detailed quantum mechanical calculations. With those values, the ratio of intensities and the mean lifetime of the tube state can be calculated following the steps outlined.